Today we have a holster review for the P365XL with the TLR7 sub on it. And not only that, it's a sweet ass holster company with a one week turnaround. We're gonna do the whole tabletop thing, get into some details, as well as head out to the range to get some real world first impressions. There's also gonna be some first impressions on the TLR7 sub. Be sure and subscribe and come back for that full review on that particular weapon light. Dear YouTube moderators, all the firearms are being used in a private professional gun range and any tabletop review is done in an actual armor. So if you let me monetize this video, I'll literally swallow the gravy. Get it over here, buddy, let's do this. Okay, I just got back from talking to Josh over at CQC Close Quarter Carries. So the cool thing about CQC is that if they don't have your light option available for you anywhere, um, you can send him your light in and he will totally take care of that for you for no extra charge. And so I did that with a TLR7 sub. A lot of companies are not offering it yet. So I just sent him my light and he used that to make the holster. Here's the basic package of what it looks like. The holster, mag carrier, nuts and bolts and things like that that are backups to the holsters. We have a nice thick Kydex. I went with OD Green, love that vibe. He recommended this clip here. We're gonna get in more into that a little bit later. I've tested it out so far. I think it's pretty damn cool and that shit is never coming off once you click it on. And then we have the mag carrier, which is separate. It's got that same badass clip on it, same OD Green, same thickness. And you put the mag in, it's not just the typical pinching retention on the side like this, but like a, there's a foot that you can press in and out. I can choose to carry both if I want, or I can just carry the gun itself so I'm not married to always carrying my backup mag if I don't want to. This bad boy loaded up. Give you my first impressions on this bad boy. We're shooting cold, danger close. That's nice. I like that for me. Felt good. <laughs> nice. 1.20, I'll take it. Bam, bam. First impressions are good. Let's move on to the other holster, this is awesome. On the spirit of having a unicorn gun like the P365XL, he made me a super sick leg drop outside the waistband holster for when I go to the range. So now I can still carry a gun, I can carry it daily, nightstand it if I want, and now I can actually train with it. And he also gave me a mag pouch to put on my battle belt or my one and a half inch belt. So this, this leg drop here allows for different size belts. This is a dry lubricated level two retentioner, which I think is like a graphite type lubrication. Keeps that working smooth. This is a call of thick boy, I think they call it on the website. So it's a double, double 80, 0 0.82 thickness. We'll get in more into that later. That's something that he's doing that's super unique. Um, so he wants to promote customization. And I got a t-shirt. Let's get this light on my fucking weapon and uh, see how this bad boy works. Here's the infamous TLR7 sub. Mm, that's nice, still works, so Josh didn't break it, so I appreciate that. It actually works better with a coin than it does a flathead screwdriver. So there you go, first pro tip for the video. Component here, and there it is. Not super stoked about how there's a little bit of wobble in this thing. I don't notice it whenever I'm using the firearm or practice dry firing with it. It has a little bit of wobble to it, so it's a little disheartening. But I'm gonna go ahead and try to put something in there, whether it be some felt or maybe some specific kind of tape to help take that wobble out. The concealed carry option. Let's start off with the concealed carry option. You did it! Ooh, that's nice. I like that for me. They sort of work with the natural curvature of your belt, so they're independent of that. Inside there, there's little hooks that hook onto the belt. So it's a very committed hook to your 1.5 inch belt for these particular ones. That is not coming out. You can uh, tension the, uh, uh, the holster here. That's pretty standard, so that's good to go. Nothing wrong with that, it's not broken. You've got the wing there that keeps it tight to your body, which is nice. And just so you guys know, when you order these, these are adjustable. So inside here, you can change the cant and change the ride height of your holster. Oh, that's nice. Okay, and like I mentioned before, it has a little tensioner inside here. Okay, that is a nice holster. That feels good. This clip is nice.
If you're watching this video at the time of release, there's still time to sign up for the Redcon 1 Patriot Games on October 23rd and 24th. For more information, go to thepatriotgames.us. If you're catching this video after that date, don't worry, we do the Redcon 1 Patriot Games multiple times a year. So check it out, find a weekend that works for you, get your butt training, and uh, yeah, we'll see you there. I've been reviewing a lot of holsters, and I'm gonna tell you what, this one is pretty fucking premier. I'm not gonna lie, let's see how this works. Positive click, tension. All right, first impressions. You know, uh, he tunes his holsters, kind of like a tuner of a car. He actually tunes motorcycles and does crazy stuff, but save that for another video. So this feels very tuned. All right, we've got the outside of the waistband, range belt kind of set up, again, on another tack belt. Thank you so much for sending that out, guys. <laughs> I really like the idea of having, uh, you know, these two items from CQC. Works out really well. Probably work great with whatever existing everyday carry belt, your 1.5 inch belt. So let you slowly build your kit over time. And this works great for any class you might do uh, for pistol training. Shooting cold with this new setup. Just do a drill where I identify the threat, draw some cover, and then engage. Reload. Oh, that works great. That feels really good. In and out of there. I will say this level two retention works like you would expect. Push down, clears out nicely. You can clear your weapon, not a problem. Um, I will say that with this gun, being so small compared to my full-size handgun, it almost feels better to sort of pull it in this way. It kind of drives my hand up into the tang as I do it. So that's probably a, more of a note for using a small compact gun like this compared to like a full-size handgun, but holster's working fine, not a problem. If you're into training, tasking your skills, and testing out your equipment under stressful situations, definitely check out the Redcon 1 Patriot Games, and you can find out more about that at thepatriotgames.us. If you do happen to sign up for the Patriot Games, either to compete or just to come out and watch, make sure and grab me and let me know you're there uh, and introduce yourself, because I'm definitely going to be there, and I hope to see you guys there. This is a Javelin Concepts plate carrier. Uh, I'm working on a video on that right now. This is a small size plate carrier, sappy small and fits my frame pretty well. I'm 145 pounds, five foot five, so a lot of you ladies have a similar frame size as I do, or a lot of you dudes out there that have a smaller frame like me. But anyway, I reached out to RX Plate, and they make weighted plate carriers for your tactical games or your Patriot Games style events where you have to meet weight recommendations. And he is custom making a size small sappy that is curved with the appropriate weight for small plate carriers, which I think I can't find it anywhere on the market, so he might be the very first one to do that. So I will keep you guys up to date on that. He gives you a ton of extra parts and pieces, ear pro, bubble gum, like I mentioned before. Now, if you've ever purchased a weapon light for your pistol, you'll know how hard it is to get a holster sometimes, especially when the light is brand new to the market. Josh over at Close Quarter Carry, his lead time is one to two weeks. To put that in reference, I tried to order a Black Point holster and they are 16 to 18 weeks out. That's like fucking 3,000 years with inflation. Little coats of anarchy bling on there. Thank you so much for the Cerakote, Alex. <laughs> okay, pistol caliber carpine still shoots nine millimeter, just like this little guy here. But man, talk about the side acquisition and delivery at range. It's not even the same thing. Wow, fun little gun. All right, one more shot. Empty. When I'm wearing this holster set up, even on a 1.5 inch belt, I really get the sense or feeling like it's on my full size battle belt with my full size gun. So this is a really cool option. We've got a video up on the gun channel with this uh, 185 grain 9 millimeter. 
and this is the difference of sound with suppressors. Three rounds of range ammo and then three rounds of the 185 grain for your listening pleasure. Ooh, feels good. All right, guys, time for my closing thoughts. Um, starting with this holster here, this setup, I like the idea of being able to use your 1.5 inch everyday carry belt and just add it to it for like a range belt, doing a pistol class or just want to train uh, this way for whatever reason. So that's pretty cool. A nice convenient way to get something going without having to add another belt. Um, starting with this holster here, I like the mid drop. I use this on my uh, battle belt as well, and this is perfect for me, so I love that. So I highly recommend that particular style of bracket to hang off your belt. And coming from the, to the top here, this uh, level two retention um, works really well. It's very tactile, clicky, very confident, tight spring, um, or strong spring. So whenever you hinge this guy and release it, it's very positive and very uh, repeatable. So I like that. Moving down to the holster itself, it is double thick. So I think it's 0.16 thick by the time you add those two um, layers together. So I do like that a lot. Super rigid, very rigid, and um, a very high level of confidence when I, uh, when I tactile click that in and out, uh, the firearm in and out of that. So that's working great. Um, and then the leg strap worked just fine. No problems with that. So all in all, that's a 10 out of a 10 holster there. Love that. This guy here with the little side foot that I've talked about multiple times in the video. I'm sure you're tired of hearing that. Um, I like it because it creates a little bit of extra space so the tolerances don't have to be so high when a mag goes in there. When I was putting my mag back in my pouch, I hit it with a very high percentage rate and it felt very secure. It was really tight. So if you are doing like a tactile games or a um, Patriot game style event, um, you can use something like this and you don't have to worry about your mags flying off when you're jumping over a wall or something. And then moving on to the conceal carry guy. This guy works great. Yeah, no complaints on this. I think the only thing that... Uh, I would say, so overall the holster is great, right? It's, it's on par with the top notch holsters on the market. So this is definitely something you should consider um, if you're in the market for one of these holsters. This particular clip is uh, made out of like a metal and it does have little metal hooks in there that hook really well on the bottom of your, of your belt. But you do have to be careful to make sure and peel those guys back all the way when you're pulling it off your belt um, because it, I think over time it could scratch your belt up. So uh, just something to be mindful of. And he offers different kinds of clips uh, if this clip doesn't seem like it's a good fit for you. So that's always an option from the site. And, um, and the only other consideration, which is not really a knock on the holster, it's just adding a light to your carry weapon it just creates a little bit more space. And so if you're carrying an appendix like me, then um, you know that's a consideration to do. Again, it's not a knock on the holster. It's just a concept of adding more mass down there and trying to figure out how to conceal the extra weapon light on your gun, if that's something you desire to do. So all in all, this competes or um, beats the expectations of some of the other premier holster companies out there, um, which there are a lot of them, which is great. And this one should definitely be on your list for consideration. Real quick, if you or anybody you know would like to sponsor any of these videos, definitely get a hold of me. Until then, be sure and stop by evokestudio.io for all your photo and video needs. My name is Mike, you're at The Gun Channel. We'll see you soon.